let's work our way through the LCD character display demo. And this is the version that's based on UART serial communication. Here I have the LCD character display connected up to connector B on my reel. Demo is running right now. We're looking at a display of the three values produced by the onboard accelerometer, X, Y, and Z directions. Right now I'm flipping my my Rio upside down. We can see the Z changing sign, flipping it back right side up again, and it's back to where it started. At this point I'm pushing the my Rio button on the, the bottom of my Rio, and we can see that indicated. All right, let's see what we've got. We have a little bit of initialization at the beginning, reading the accelerometer values, sending those out to the display, and also sending those out to the character display. Let's take a look at the UART setup. UARTs are located right here under the My Real palette. Here's where you can designate whether or not you're choosing connector A or connector B. And you can also pick whether or not you're doing a write operation or a read operation. The character display is simply a write-only device, so we'll do the write mode. Let me also show you where the accelerometer and push button are located. Look under My Rio again. These are onboard devices, and here they are. Now let's take a look at the two escape sequences that are used to configure the LCD character display. Under normal display, we see escape, square bracket, followed by a command, and then another escape sequence followed by the second command. You can view this as a mix of the hidden characters with the printing characters, and you can also view it as just simply hex codes for all of the ASCII characters. You can kind of take your pick there. Now the accelerometer values as well as the button press state are fed to this string formatter right here, format into string. Now as you study this string, you certainly recognize things like X, Y, Z, and button and so on. So all of this text eventually is being produced by format into string. Percent %F is a way of inserting your own floating point value into this string. Here's the second one. And finally, the last one, percent %D, that's taking in an integer value. The 5.2 modifier says we want to allocate five characters to the field and then two characters after the decimal point. Incidentally, here's how you turn the Boolean value into a one or a zero. Look under conversions, and there we have Boolean to one or zero. Let's take a look at this error cluster. It works its way through the system. We OR that together with the stop button back on the front panel. Either an air condition or a stop button press will cause us to exit this loop, pass through the air handler, and finally do a My Rio software reset. Here I am pacing the loop at 200 milliseconds per loop pass.